afternoon. This is Pastor Hayton in the Lord Light's devotional. In my Bible reading today, I was reading from Paul's letter to the church at Rome. We know it as the book of Romans there in the New Testament. And in the second chapter, I was reading down through that chapter today. And I noticed in verse 8 some words that kind of jumped out uh, to me. And those words are, But unto them that are contentious, and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But those words, those that do not obey the truth. And I thought there's a large element of our population today that uh, do not obey the truth. Now there's a lot of people that wouldn't know the truth if it jumped up and bit them, so to speak. They've never really taken advantage of the opportunities that we have to discover what is truth. We uh, live in a land today where we've heard it say there's a church on nearly every corner, somewhat of an exaggeration of course, but still across this great land of ours, there is a proliferation of churches and I dare say that most people live within just a short distance of a church where the gospel is preached, where the truth goes out. We live in a land where uh, radio and television uh, fills the airwaves with uh, many different preachers. Not all are good. Some are way off out in left field. But nonetheless, I believe that 24-7, the truth goes out across the airwaves in our land today. I believe that a lot of people today, they just never really availed themselves of the opportunity to discover the truth. So naturally they're not living in obedience to the truth of God's word. And I think how tragic it is that such a large percentage of our population today do not even know what the truth is. Men have always been seeking truth, but uh, it seems to elude many people. And of course the devil doesn't want us to uh, know the truth, does he? Because Jesus said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Satan doesn't want free people. And so there are a lot of people that don't obey the truth because they don't know what the truth is. And yet there are other people that know the truth, and yet they do not obey what thus saith the Lord. And my heart goes out to those today that rationalize the word of God. My heart goes out to the, those that feel like that they're the exception to what God has said in his word as pertaining to how we ought to live and things that we ought to do and things we ought not to do. Seem like that today we just kind of feel like that the Bible is kind of a smorgasbord. We've gotten used to going into the buffets and going down the long tables of food and we kind of pick out what looks good to us and, and that's what we feast on. And a lot of people, well, they go through the Bible and they pick out what looks good to them and that's what they feast on. Well, they just kind of leave the rest there. Leave it for somebody else. It just doesn't appeal to them. Or it uh, goes against their taste in some way or another. And so, you know the Bible, we sometimes look at it and think, well, there are parts that we obey. And yet other parts that we choose to ignore. And I believe that those that are uh, walking behind the light of God's word are certainly missing a great blessing. And are in danger of losing their eternal soul. I'm glad today that I know people that obey the truth. And you know if we will be obedient to the truth of God's word. We'll live such a blessed life here on this earth. And we'll enjoy so many different benefits that others do not enjoy. But if we obey not the truth. We miss out on the blessings of Christian living. As well as jeopardize the etern the uh, security of the of the soul of man and so let's recognize today that we don't want to be among that number that are contentious and do not obey the truth but we want to walk in obedience to God's word which is the truth heavenly father help us to be obedient to the truth in every area of our life uh, Lord, those that are walking behind light, those that do not know the truth today, reveal God's word to them in such a way they'll have a desire to walk and to obey uh, the word of God. So 
So bless us on down throughout our life, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I enjoyed sharing that with you today, and I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor H. And goodbye now.